In this series of talks about the Toth Tarot, this book, I've been guiding you through the, stru the unusual structure of the way this book is put together by Alistair Crowley and what it means. And the fascinating thing that came out of these talks is that nowhere does Alistair Crowley mention divinatory meanings. They don't exist. It's, it's a strange and remarkable conclusion that you come to. He talks about tarot as living beings. He talks about the characteristics of the major arcana. He talks about behaviours. See, because normally in tarot, people think that the court cards represent people and that's it, and everything else is just, they're kind of flat. They're just kind of something else. But he's taking things onto a whole new level. And it is all about Tara's living beings. All the cards act. All the cards interact. And he brings it all together with the opening of the key spread. Now, the interesting thing about the opening of the key spread is that each stage is called an operation. It's an action. Now, an operation is not to do with surgery. Um, it's more akin to magical rituals and ceremonies and all these kinds of things. So he's seeing the entire process of the cards. Now it's established that the cards are living beings and they act, they have actions, they have behaviours. They act in, and behave in different ways, just as we do, just as we do, depending on who we're with and the circumstance and what we need to achieve and intend. It's more about how real life is than trying to remember why the meaning of the cards, which of course everyone has problems with. And if you've been following my videos over the years and my writings, and if you see me speak, I always tell everyone, I'm rubbish at the meanings. Now you know why. Because they're not that important. Now, if you have read this book, Londa Kett's The Top Tarot, um, he puts the divinatory meanings back into the tarot. In the top tower. It's in there. It says in the bottom things. Divinatory meanings. Divinatory meanings kill the tarot. It's a problem in tarot. Um, people who, who do courses have this problem of how do you um, assess students when they can't remember the meaning. It's a strange thing that's sort of going on here. So I want to sort of look a little bit deeper into why, what is really going on then in this case. So, and, it's, and it is funny of course, is that you know, clients come to say, oh, can I recall, because I can't remember. It's a good thing they can't remember because it shows things are working at a deeper, more fundamental level. So, once Arthur Crowley, so we have the behaviors and the characteristics, so toss, tarot, Crowley liberates us from the divinity meanings. They're no longer a weight on our shoulders. We're free. We're liberated. We don't have to worry about them. Well, we do in the sense that we need to know what they are. But it's a bit like it's talking about, you know, the English language, the meaning of the letter A, the meaning of the letter C. You, you need to look at the word. You know, you need to, you know, the, those letters create that word of supercalifragilisticexpialidocious or the or potato you just you just you don't look at the individual letters you just see well that's potato and that's a recalifragilisticexpialidocious it's just recognition so once he's established that at the conclusion of the essay which is I talked about in the previous video this whole thing about there not being any divinatory meanings he says that the cards of the tarot are living individuals and then he goes on to say the headline of the next section, which is on the opening of the key spread, he says, the behaviour of the tarot, its use in the art of divination. So he's making another distinction here. He's putting divination separately from all this, what we've been talking about so far. And of course, with the opening of the key spread, we're counting and pairing and elemental dignities. You're using those techniques to see how 
the cards interact with each other, the behaviours and the characteristics. And just remember, div divination is in this very small section of the opening of uh, the Book of Tops. It's only about three or four pages. So now, and of course, when you watch my videos um, on the opening of the key, you'll see I make mistakes and I miss identify cards and all sorts of things. It doesn't matter, I carry on anyway, it's not it's not important. So this is a big relief for tarot students. If you really want to take things further, is that when the reason when you sit down for a client do the readings, your mind goes blank because you can't remember the meaning of the cards, it's what's supposed to happen. Now the secret of magic, of your intention, of your will to achieve something is that when you do whatever ritual or thing that you do, is that you forget about it. Have a cup of tea, have sex, send in your tax return, help the kids with their homework, do some gardening, have a drink, doesn't matter. You just put that aside, forget about it, and you don't speculate or dig it up again or anything like that. You do not want to keep things at the level of the conscious mind. And the conscious mind is saying, I don't remember the meaning of the cards. What are they? Oh my God, how many problems? I can't remember. It's killing the conscious mind to allow those energies to come through and read what's really going on. So in essence, the divinatory meanings kill the tarot. So, I mean, why long to get put and label divinatory meanings back in here? Something we can speculate on. Um, as I said, the opening of the key does not mention divinatory meanings any more than the rest of this book mentions divinatory meanings. Okay? It's significant in its absence. And I also said that each stage, and there are five stages of the opening of the key spread, is called an operation. It is directly related to magic. And here is where we need to look at something that Crowley says in here. <coughs> and it is just after, um, this is page 253 of this book, and we're sort of um, we're right about here in this area here. So we've just completed the fifth operation. And um, there's a quote from someone called O.M., which is actually Arcee Crowley himself, and he says, I may add that in material matters, this method is extremely valuable. I've been able to work out the most complex problems in minute detail. So he's saying he used it, and he says and you can do them in minute detail, which is exactly something I've found, and this is why I champion the opening of the key, of the key spread and the Toth Tarot. So now, he makes a key statement. Um, it's quite an extraordinary, extraordinary one. I'll read it to you and I'll try and discuss it. So here it goes. It is quite impossible to obtain satisfactory results from this or any other system of divination unless the art is perfectly required. It is the most sensitive, difficult and perilous branch of magic. The necessary conditions with such a comprehensive comparative review of all methods of all important methods in use are fully described and discussed in magic chapter 17. So he's saying far from sort of divination as being some kind of trivial thing, it's actually the most sensitive, difficult, and perilous branch of magic. Well, you might have thought that sex magic or, or other kind of things are more difficult or dangerous, but he's making a, a pretty heavy and clear statement of what this is really about. It's not just divination. It is something more. It is the other skills that you have, um, which, of course, most tarot readers aren't equipped with because they don't know and on all these sort of things. So, and it's, the interesting thing is, is to really understand divination is to go into a lot of the magic 
and the ceremonies and rituals that that um, are described. You can find them on the on the internet now. They're pretty easily available. The O T the open, um, the Argentia Master and the A O T O um, Golden Dawn. All these things um, are kind of the things that are going there will help you to read the tarot cards. So, um, if it's so difficult and perilous, um, it, things can go wrong. And the next paragraph sort of um, covers that because he says, the abuse of divination has been responsible more than any other, other cause for the discredit into which the whole subject of magic has fallen when the master theron undertook the task of its rehabilitation. Those who neglect his warnings and profane the sanctuary of transcendental art have no other than themselves to blame for the formidable and irredeemable disasters which infallibly will destroy them. Prospero is Shakespeare's reply to Dr. Faustus. Now, pretty heavy stuff there, isn't it? So, this is kind of... I'm not quite sure what to say here, but it's, it shows how important divination really should be in this whole in this whole kind of system, and that the requirement of the operator to know so much stuff, in a sense, almost um, you know, divination shouldn't be left to amateurs. I guess that's probably the message. Um, I know in my experience as a professional tower reader, the, the importance and the responsibility that one has in doing a reading for someone about a divorce or infidelity or, or the big decisions in people's lives that people they come for a reading for. It's an important thing. Um, so it's not a trivial matter that we're talking about. So hopefully this is kind of, now that we've gone through these sections of the book, and I've given you an insight into what Crowley was trying to do and how he did it and how you end up with this conclusion that it is about magic. It's, and divination is a fundamental aspect of this magic. I hope you'll be able to see tarot in an entirely different light. It's more powerful, more complex, more fun, more interesting than you could ever imagine. So, um, I am available to do character courses and lessons. We can, you know, we can do a one-to-one -one day session if you like, or something like this. Um, there's ways we can do things. So if you're interested in taking things further, we can do, I can do bespoke courses on these things as well, depending on how far you've got with Tarot, or the Book of Toss, or which areas you want to look at. We can sort of, cover all these sort of things as well. So, I mean, probably sort of reading, you know, watching this video, you might well have to feel you need to go back to the first one to sort of see, with this, armed with this extra knowledge, you know, to see how these things fit together. Happy, happy divining. <laughs>